when, as, when I was an undercover cop, I actually worked at that time, the largest human trafficking case in Kansas City, Kansas. And that's something that I don't know if I ever told Remy, but I had already experienced that. And when you're working in, in this world of drug trafficking investigations, there is a lot of human trafficking. Our borders are open. It is a reality. And not just our borders, but also in our country, inside our country, there is human traffic. And it happens to people of, of all walks of life. Mm -hmm. You know, kids that sometimes are naive or kids that fall into drugs. And it's, it's tough. It's very tough. You know, human trafficking is a reality. I can only imagine what it's like in other places around the world. It's got to be worse than it is here in the United States. I had already come with that experience, mm -hmm. knowing what human trafficking is. However, Remy's film is not just actors, but you have all these different cultures. You have Latinos, African Americans, you, you have linguists, people that are actually members, practitioners of Islam, members of the Muslim, Muslim community coming all together as one in order to make this film that has this international flavor. And uh, not too many people can make a film like this. You know, yeah. it was a great effort. The production team here in Kansas City, Remy and Khalid, oh my God, they were so hard. <laughs> For such a heavy subject, too, a lot of people, especially within entertainment, don't want to touch upon these certain... Yes, yes, I agree with you. It's a tough deal, you know, uh, the exploitation of one human by another human. I know it's been going on for since the beginning of time. I think it's our inhumanity that allows this to continue to happen. So.